have. We need to make cars and export them. Americans shouldn't buy new cars until they have enough cash to pay for them without resorting to financing. Mayor? If Peter and you guys are done with your theorizing, I'd love to give you a little dose of reality. Linda, all right. first of all, great, thanks for giving me an opportunity. Linda, first I want to say thank you for your service to our country. I appreciate it very much, and I appreciate your patriotism. And a little patriotism in the economic markets would go a long way, too. You know, to listen to the theory of a guy like Peter, a former Wall Street wizard, one of the guys that helped bring us to this condition, it's very well, interesting. But the reality, is, the reality is that, unfortunately, Peter, we don't live in this perfectly balanced free market world system. So the beautiful theoretical system that you'd like to establish in the United States doesn't work in a global economy where we have a completely unequal playing field. So when you talk about the, the government robbing from other people, which is total bull, in order to save the auto industry, the well, reality is... Where do you think is they get these, the money? Let me, can I just finish? I'll just, be quick. I'll just be quick. Let me finish. The, we're competing against other countries, Peter. The problem is these companies aren't competing in a pristine, capitalist, free market environment that you envision in your head. This, this is an uneven market. <laughs> Why isn't and, Toyota and, our companies, and Honda facing our companies bankruptcy? Are competing. Why isn't they, Toyota and Honda facing bankruptcy? Bankruptcy. For one Mayor. reason, they have the total support of their government. Oh, that's For one nonsense. Reason, they have, oh, it is? They have it national health care. Is that a figment of my imagination? <laughs> no. they All right, are we got to get to another they call. Are Kent, their currencies look, are manipulated. Look, Give me look, a break. I wake up and get in the real world. Market, but you you want to get out of your ivory tower and see yeah. what's happening in the real world. Yeah, All right. I know what's happening in the real world. Time out. Time out, gentlemen. We've got a call. We've got these callers waiting. Kent in Michigan, your question or thoughts, sir? Okay. Am I there? Yes, you are. Okay, I would just like to say this. I think our Congress needs to quit picking on the auto executives. Uh, you know, flying. Are you an auto executive? Uh, absolutely <laughs> not. I'm a, I'm a part time retired, not a very wealthy guy. But I will tell you, I did buy uh, some GM stock a couple days ago because I think we need them and I think they will do right by it. But my yes. point is is I get awful upset when I hear the Congress dictating to these auto execs what exactly they have to do to justify this loan. Loan, I say, they gave, what, $350 billion to the financial industry and never... All right, but, well, okay, this yeah, is they, the whole they question. Have Peter, done that either. is it really a loan? I mean, usually with a loan you have collateral or your mom has to co-sign it, something. No, look, <laughs> the government, first I said, the government doesn't have any money. They have to guarantee the loans or they have to take it out of the economy. But th they shouldn't have given Wall Street a quarter. You know, you did. The, you bought stock, the caller bought stock in General Motors with his own money. I've got no objection to that. But I don't want the caller buying stock in General Motors with my money. But I want to make my own decisions. I, but the fact is the government did bail out Wall Street. To, and they shouldn't have. Billions and doesn't... billions of dollars with no strings attached. You Two, know what? I'm not, right. I'm not even... Guess what? I'm we got to go to the break. Time out. Time out. Right. I'm going to be Didn't taking your, your calls you on the bailout next. Plus, is the Victoria's Secret fashion show yet another... Back with Peter Schiff, president of Europac and Mayor Verge Bernero of Lansing, Michigan. And we're taking your calls. Donna, in New Mexico, your thought or comment, man? Well, I'd just like to say I'm not impressed with them driving down in their hybrids. Uh, give me a break. They just didn't win, want to get caught in the hot seat again. And are they going to sell those company jets? Are they going to forgo their bonuses? One of these guys is the ex-CEO of my company, and all he did for us was continue to take money away from us and put it in his own pocket until we got rid of him. Oh, are you talking about uh, Mr. Nardelli? All right. Well, anyway, uh, she raises some really good points. Uh, she raises the, the point is about corporate culture, but the corporate culture that's gone bad isn't just in the auto industry. And I'll stack up the she's the, of course there needs to be of course the jets need to be sold and we need to change corporate culture. Well, they're going the board. to sell the jets. But I right. will stack up the production of the American automobile industry against that of Wall Street. Well, guys like Peter come from there look, no, no, and Washington all, any day of the week. This look, industry keep, has you, produced you, helped produce the middle class in this country. They have a you, great no, record of success and they're worthy of you, our support. You know, you keep raising the straw man. I was completely against the Wall Street bailouts from day one. I agree. Every Wall Street firm should be allowed to fail. There shouldn't have been one dime for Wall Street. But two wrongs don't make a right. Well, and on top of that, we do not want the government dictating to our automobile industry what cars they should make and how they should make well, them. Well, I disagree. I, mean, I think, think we should dictate and say all electric. No, switch no, over. Get rid no, of the no, SUV. No, no, no. Money. And, you know, and it's, I agree like, with it's like, look, it's like letting the post vehicles. office or the army make our cars. The I, government I, is incompetent. 
I've we read need, some of Peter's stuff. I've, I've read some of your stuff, Peter, and I'm surprised that for a guy who's for production, that you would allow our manufacturing prowess and research and development to fall by the wayside with the no, apex not gonna, of our manufacturing no, process. I want to free it up. It's, right. it's being stifled by by you're, by you're incompetent Russian management with by our big economy. labor unions. All right, time out, no. gentlemen. We got to go to a call. Jerry from South Carolina. Your question or thoughts, sir? Yes, ma'am. Um, I've seen on 60 Minutes where uh, uh, the CEO of General Motors. Make, make his salary this year will be sixteen million dollars. Your average your average worker makes probably less than thirty thousand. Well, well, let me just say this. First of all, all three uh, big three CEOs are working for a dollar a year. But there have been They're articles overpaid. that I've written, uh, read that say you know there are other ways to get money: the stock options, the retirement plans, the golden parachutes. There is there are so many ways, Peter, for them to walk away with money, and of course they've walked away from with millions in years past. Look, I'm not going to sit here and hear the auto industry execs thrown under the bus when this cu this culture of corporate greed has permeated and nobody had any problem with it, and, and yeah, I did. That, that's been for years. Well, oh, I did, I did too. But let's, so let's not single out the auto industry. Obviously, that's a problem, and obviously, if they're taking public money, they're going to have to give that stuff up, and we should change it. Well, what but we're talking that, about is a viable automobile industry for years. It's not to come. viable. If they were viable, they wouldn't be asking well, for money. Well, guess what? And, you and have if we the bail last out word, Detroit, Peter? who's next? We're Who's done, next? but we're not done. We're going to be back tomorrow discussing this again. Please come back and get angry again. Thank you so much.